Hello, Aldini and hello, Jose Isaias. Hello, teacher, good evening. Tell me, how was your weekend? Um, well, my weekend was uh, so good. I went to the river with my family. And that's very nice. In in what river? Uh, Nuapa River. Nuapa River. Okay. La Palma, Chalatenango. Oh, it's cold. Yes, so cold. Yeah. And you swam in the river. Um. Yes. Uh, but it's so dangerous. Uh, why is dangerous, Jose? Because um, some part about the river is so deep. Um, it's, a, it's a deep river. Yes. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Monica, how was your weekend? Okay, no, Monica. Aldini, how was your weekend? I weekend in San Salvador. What did you do, Aldini? What? No, como dice, what? What actions? What activities? Watch TV, play video games, go to the stadium. I watch in a television. Okay. On the weekend. What did you watch? ¿A qué me dedico? No, no. What did you watch on on television? What? Ah, uh, eh, 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 es McDonald o W W eh, Monday Now. <laughs> the wrestling WWF. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, the SmackDown on Monday. Monday now. Ah, okay, okay. All right, good, Aldini. So you relax this weekend, Aldini. So so. So so. Okay, okay. Monica, you connected? Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Hey, Sorry. Good evening, Monica. How was your weekend? Monica, how was your weekend? Mm, very good, very good. Why, uh, what, what did good. you do? Very good. Uh, I get out uh, of the park with my family. Um only. <laughs> okay. You went to the park. To which park? Yes. Uh, in which park? Uh, of Quesaltepeque. Oh, okay. And this park is the park is nice in Quesaltepeque. Yes, very entertaining, but uh, because uh, to play sport. Oh, what sport? Basketball, volleyball. Mm, and you play, Monica? Do you play? Uh, Sometimes. Really? Basketball, volleyball. Uh, 
volleyball. Volleyball. Okay. You like volleyball. Okay, good. And this was on Saturday or Sunday, Monica? Monica, did you go to the park on Saturday or Sunday? Get there Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, good. All right. Well, today we're going to talk about activities like celebrations. Okay. So let's read together. Aldini, can you please read the objective for today? Repeat for please. Yes, Aldine, please read. Please read the objective. Here. Is in this class you will learn vocabulary for discussion celebration. Thank you, Aldine. Good, good. Only the pronunciation discussing. Discussing. Good, very good. Here, we're going to watch a video and look at some vocabulary. For example, here, Brenda, can you please read the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Anniver anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, paradise, Paradise, no sé cómo se dice eso. Party, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Excellent. Only one pronunciation, Brenda, and that parade. 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 Good. So here we're going to learn activity that people do in different celebrations. Okay. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, cards, dancing, fireworks, flowers, fruit punch, parade, presents, roast turkey, wedding. Very good. Remember you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Okay. Hours. All right. It's okay that the meaning of this vocabulary. <laughs> What's the meaning? Parade. Parade. Parade is when the people in the street are walking together. For example, for September 15th or for the Day of the Soldiers. May 7th, there are parades. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. In cards, what's the meaning of cards? Cards, they are like letters. Like for Christmas, it's very typical. The people receive, before the people receive a card for Christmas or Mother's Day. Okay. It's okay, cards? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Any other words? Presents and roast turkey. Presents are like in Christmas or in your birthday. You receive maybe a box and you don't know this is a present. Like a gift. Like a gift. Correct. It's like a gift. And roast turkey is the animal that people eat usually for Christmas. The people don't have pupusas, they don't have chicken, they have normally turkey. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. 
So now we have some vocabulary for celebrations. Let's see, okay? We're going to learn a little bit about this. Uh, where, let's see. Uh, Cesar, can you please read the objective? Yes, by the end of the class, you will understand the use of relative clauses of time. Oh. So we're going to use the idea for the celebrations and the relative clauses of time. Let's see how we can use those. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is. So pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. So the word that you have to know is, when. which word? When. when, when, exactly. And we use it to describe your opinion. For example, what do you like? Ah. I like it when I receive presents for my birthday. I like it, or maybe you don't like it. I, I hate it. I don't like it. It for me is terrible. When, when there are a lot of fireworks for, is bad for the environment. I don't like the smell. It, that's it. Is what you like or don't like it. Mm -hmm. So, Example, with your partner, first we're going to talk about the celebrations. What do you celebrate? Okay, I put in the chat to help you. Number one, what do you celebrate? Number two, how do you celebrate it? Number three, Okay, so Jose Carlos, can you please read the three questions? Hello? Yes, can you please read the three questions in the chat? Okay. What do you do? What do you do? Celebrate? No, no. What do you do? Um, I don't know, teacher. Le estás agregando palabras que no existen. What do you celebrate? Exactly. There you go. There you go. Okay. Good, Jose number, Carlos. Number, number one. Two. How do you celebrate it? Okay. Good. And number three. What was your favorite celebration? Excellent. There you go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to ask and answer our partner. Okay. You can ask and answer different forms. For example, the small question. What do you celebrate in general? Or what do you celebrate in December? What do you celebrate in May? Okay. Or how do you celebrate it? It, you can change. How do you celebrate Christmas? How do you celebrate Mother's Day? How do you celebrate your birthday? Or to continue the topic from number one. How do you celebrate it? Okay. And number three, what was your favorite celebration? Ah, so we're going to ask and answer our partners. Remember, we're going to talk about the celebrations. Number one is in present tense, I celebrate. Number two, how do you celebrate it? Ah, this is present tense. Number three is past tense. So present, present, past. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay, any questions? Anybody, any questions? Vocabulary, celebrations, activities?
Okay, so with your partner, ask the three questions and answer the three questions. Ask and answer the three questions. Karen, you okay? Good evening, teacher. Excuse me, I, I am late. No problem. In this moment, we are talking about celebrations. Celebrations. Okay. One moment, I share with you the questions. Okay, thanks. Yes. One moment. Those are the three questions that are you going that you are going to talk with your partners. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thanks. You are. <laughs>
Okay, let's listen to some people. What do you celebrate? How do you celebrate it? And what was your favorite celebration? Ronnie, let's begin with you. <clears throat> uh, we talked to my, uh, uh, I celebrate my birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, with I, I, in, it was, with, how do you celebrate it? I went uh, uh, with my family uh, and my wife and the rest of And what was your favorite celebration? Uh, only my birthday in, in Christmas. Okay, all right, Ronnie. Good, good idea. Yeah. Now, now, what we need to do is we need to create a story and not answer the questions. For example, my favorite, uh, I like to celebrate my birthday. My last birthday, I went with my family to a restaurant and my wife. Okay. Uh, my favorite celebration is was three years ago when we went to El Tunco with the fam. That's how you're going to use it. But it's good, Ronnie. Now the other person have the opportunity. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I said was uh, say uh, say the what was your favorite celebration? Mm -hmm. Is uh, three years ago I traveled to uh, Chile. Well, I, I saw my my daughter. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. Excellent, Ronnie. Go well, with my with my wife. Great. Okay. I, I went to the the sur de Chile, south of Chile. Yeah, in Chile, in South America. A beautiful. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful city. Good, excellent, and that's how we use today's grammar. When my favorite celebration was when I went down to Chile, for example. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Good. All right. Let's listen to Anna Lisette. Okay. Um, y me hago yo misma la pregunta y me respondo lo que quiero celebrar. No, no. You tell the story. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my I celebrate my birthday. Um, I'm going to eat cake with my family. And they are going to sing happy birthday to me. Um, what is me, my favorite celebration in the years is uh, New Year's and Christmas Day mm, because uh, in this days uh, the family is together in my house all in grandmother's house and I see the our family. Hey, nice, very nice. That's what you're going to use. Very good. So it's when, when you see the families, when you see all of your family together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Who is the next person, Anna? Uh, Jose Isaias. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, well, uh, my partner was Cesar, and I asked him, what do you celebrate? 
and he told me uh, he celebrate his birthday, uh, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Mother's Day, and Father's Day. And I asked him too, how do you celebrate it? Um, well, his birthday is celebrate with cake and with his family. And well, uh, Valentine's Day, he celebrate with his girlfriend. And I asked him to uh, what was your favorite celebration? And he told me uh, it's his birthday because he spent time with his family. Okay. All right, Jose Isaias, thank you very much telling us about Cesar, okay. Cesar, tell us about Jose, Jose Isaias then. Okay, well, uh, Jose tell me that uh, he celebrate uh, the New Year, Christmas, and Father's and Mother's Day, uh, to the Valentine's Day, and, and, her, and his birthday too, right? So I, I asked him to how they he celebrate that. So he he told me that, for example, the Valentine's Day he celebrate with my, with her with his girlfriend. So the on Christmas in New Year he spent time with his um, family and the Mother's Day and the Father's Day too. And, and that, and his favorite celebration, it's uh, his birthday because uh, he received many gifts. So for that is, is his favorite celebration. Okay. All right, very good guys. You see, that's it. The idea is just to talk about and feel natural. Now talking about celebrations. Now we're going to continue and we're going to practice using the time clause when. Right? So here we have many different days for celebration. And with your partner, you're going to celebrate, you're going to select the complement. For example, New Year's Day is a day when, and with your partner, you read and you select what is the best option to complete. Okay. So with your partner, you select that out of the six, which is the best way to complete it.
Okay, let's take a look. Number one, who would like to read it? Number one. Mm -hmm. People have party with family and friends. Uh, it's New Year Day. It's a day when people have party with family and friends. Okay, good. What about number two? And me or another student? Another student, another student. Okay. Thank you, Ronnie. Okay, okay. Go ahead, guys. Number two, who's number two? Okay, uh, the number two say uh, April Fool's Day is, is a day when people sometimes play, uh, play tricks on friends. Okay, good. Number three. Number three. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay. May and June are the months when many June adults chose to get married. Okay. Number four. Go ahead, say yeah. Okay, thank you. Number four, um, Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Okay. Number five. You don't have to be scared, it's okay. You can make a mistake, you can read, it's no problem. Teacher, number five, Labor Days is a day when people in many countries honor workers. Okay, good. And number six? Teacher, maybe is... Uh, February is the month when Brazilians celebrate Carnival. Ah, okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, let's check. Yeah, look at that. The Brazilians celebrate Carnival. People in many countries, excellent. All of those are correct. It's okay how to use when? Yes. Yeah. yeah, all you have to do is put the day and Valentine's what happened day. in that day. Valentine's, Mother's Day, Christmas, New Year's, my birthday is a day when, and that's it. And you just put in what happens. Like a description, right? Like a description, exactly. Like a description. So in this moment, we're going to practice the description. We're going to describe a day when, okay? When, what do you do, okay? So for example, maybe if, for me, for me, February 9th is a day when I celebrate my anniversary with my wife and we go out to a restaurant and have dinner and enjoy. So with you and your, you're going to think about you and a special day for you and your family, maybe your mother's day, maybe a birthday, maybe an anniversary, maybe whatever. Think about what day is important for you and what do you do that day? One more example or it's okay? One more example, please. Okay, one more example. For example, for me, August, oh, no. No, only the first week, the first week in August is when El Salvador celebrates Salvador del Mundo and all of the places are closed. 
for El Salvador. And people go on vacation to, that's it. One day special for you and what happens. Now it's okay? Yes, it's okay. Good, remember <laughs> when and what happens. Let's take a look.
Okay, any questions? How to use when? No question. Okay, great. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to learn a little bit about this other topic. Uh, Karen, can you please read the objective? <clears throat> yes, teacher. In this class, you will listen to an audio audio about a carnival. This will help. This will help you uh, develop the skills in listening to for a specific information. Karen, have you ever gone to carnival in San Miguel? <clears throat> uh, I heard. I heard. Yes. But I don't, I never, I did, never, I did go. Never. Never. Ah, okay. And what do you imagine is the carnival in San Miguel? I imagine is very loud. Uh, he, uh, it's, yes, it's, um, it's have uh, a lot of music. And is uh is a, like a party. Mm. Okay. Uh, maybe uh it, it has have a uh, a very um a much uh full. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But well, I don't know what the, what this exactly. Yeah, I never. I have never been to Carnival mm -hmm. San Miguel. Now, let's see. Cesar, how do you imagine this carnival in Brazil? I don't know. Well, well it is uh, like a big party. So with a lot of music and a lot of salsa, right? <laughs> so, and, and like a, a lot of dancing and I don't know, more. Okay, all right. Well, no, today we're know. going to listen for more information about the carnival and how is the experience of the carnival, okay, in Brazil. So we're going to listen and you need to answer these four questions. Beachhead. Yes. I could feel it. I can't, I could not feel it. Please. Ronnie, please repeat. Uh, let me see. Wait. Um, I call not feel it. That, yes, that, that's exercise. Okay, don't worry, we're going to do together, right? Uh, okay, teacher. No problem, we are going Thank to you, listen you, and try to answer together. Okay. Page 52, exercise five, listening, carnival time. Part A, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Okay. So first, before we listen again, let's get some ideas. 
What is carnival? It's like a party. A party. Okay. Let me put party. And how long does it last? Uh, I four, days. four days. Four days. Yeah. Four days. Okay. When is it? In February. February to April. February and March. February and March. And March. Okay. And what is the samba? Dance. 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 The dance, a kind of dance. A kind of dance, okay. A dance. Let's listen again and check. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. It's okay, the answers, or do you want to change? It's okay, it's okay. Okay, let's take a look. Very good. Number one uh, is correct. It's a party. Only we need the period. A party. Number two, it lasts for, uh, we put four, four days but we need to put in numbers for the platform. So for the platform, four days, okay? Four days, oh, and we need a period. Mm -hmm. When is it? February? No, February and March. February or oh. March. But specifically, look, we need to have the complete sentence. Uh, it's on late February or early March, for example. And what is the samba? It's correct, it's a dance. Only we need to put the word a. A dance. It's okay, guys? Yes, I got it. Yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. I feel it. Welcome. <laughs> yes, yes. Take a screenshot. That way you can put in the correct answers. Okay. Sometimes it's only a period or the letter and then it's wrong. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So in this moment, we're going to describe what is the best party you have gone to the best party or the best celebration that you have gone to. Maybe it's a wedding, maybe it's a quinceanera, maybe it was New Year's, maybe it was uh, Christmas, maybe it was a birthday. Think about what is what was the best party and why? I uh, Christmas is because the uh, whole family is together, you know. Uh, uh, take the dinner. Had dinner? Had dinner. Uh, I can see that my family, every, uh, everybody, you know? You Where, know? Ronnie? Where? In, Where? In, in El Puerto, my... La Unión? No, in... no, San Salvador. San Salvador, okay. Yeah. And which family went to 
San, which family went? In my house. Or... How many people? Uh, Eighteen. 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 Okay. So that's the idea. No, you don't want to say words to practice sentences. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jose Carlos. Teacher, uh, how do you say fiestas patronales? Uh, religious celebrations. Religious celebrations. Religious, how, how, how is? I put in the chat. Okay, please. Okay. So San Salvador, for example, the first week of August, San Salvador has religious celebrations. Okay, good. Anybody else? Remember, give me the idea for the sentences. Mm -hmm. The best celebration and why? I don't know, but uh, for me, at uh, Christmas with my girlfriend family, was a good celebration. It's not really the best, but was a good celebration because oh. with my family, I celebrate more quiet, right? So that's for my girlfriend family. Is 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 more, I don't know, more happy and and, and the people dance and, and that for that that uh, was a good celebration. In in your girlfriend's, in in your girlfriend's family, they have. Uh, more more activities drinking talking dancing yeah 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 all about this <laughs> ah okay like okay. that okay so cool. but but this is in, in the people is loving so it's, it's more happy but uh not it's the really the best buffet party or, or the best but what's a different uh a way to to make the to do the thing like okay good all right, guys, very nice. That is the idea. We have uh, finished with general celebrations. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about weddings, specifically weddings, customs, and habits that we have for weddings compared to other countries. Okay? Okay. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming to class today, and I see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.